Good morning, it's Jeff and Wilmer at Budrum, and I want to show you this Observation Australian Stingless Native Beehive. I turned this beehive into an Observation Beehive, and all you've got to do to have a look at see what goes on is just unscrew the lid. What I've done is I've got some Perspex under the lid. This is five weeks since our introduction to the native, our native beehive. Two and a half weeks ago, I put that bit of wire there with the view of by the time the bees bring their brood up to the perspex, I'll be able to lift that wire up and place it in another box and uh, make a new hive. Now you can see what I've done here, I've got the perspex on here, four screws, countersunk, holding it in place, well, I can put the other lid on top of that. Anybody can have their own observation native beehive if they want because they don't sting. Fantastic for the children. You know, kids would love to have something like this. What I'm going to do is remove this lid and then we can overcome the reflection. You can see what they've done is they've blocked up all the gaps with probably some sort of propolis that the native bees make. And you can see them working on that brood. They build that brood in a sort of a spiral, they sort of spiral it around. They have this sort of stuff around the outside which bridges the cross to their honey, their little honey pots. Where the European honeybee has their honey in honeycomb, these bees make these little, there's a couple over the side here, and then they put a cap on it. Now the honey pots I was talking about, there's one on the on the floor here, away from the main hive. You can see where the screwdriver is pointing? Mm -hmm. Those little pots of honey there. Oh, you oh, can see it oozing out. Did the camera get yeah, a good you're shot of that? Them some more work to do. You can have a taste of it if you want. The entrance is just where inside where the screwdriver is, and there's more honey pots. A little build up of honey pots inside there. Mm. Interesting, aren't they? It's amazing. It's They're totally uh, different to European bees. Yeah, well, there's apparently I read out of the 2,000 species of native bee in Australia, there's only about 12 species that are communal like this. Mm. Basically, people are restricted by having European honey bees because of the sting factor. There's no restrictions on people having a native stingless bee hive in their yard. If people are concerned about pollination and things like that, everybody could have a stingless bee hive in their backyard. Our grandchildren are going to love the one we do for them, aren't they? They are. I'll close this up now. Next time we show this, it'll be when we split it. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you later. Bye.